Hi everybody, it's Susan. And today we're gonna do a drill with me. I'm still working on Star Wars, but I had to show you my main obsession, that is Seth Rollins. Um, and then the picture over to the left is a picture of all three of them. So Dean, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins. So, yeah. Okay, the camera just happened to be facing that way, so I had to switch it over. So, hi. I look awful. Um, it's been a very busy, busy day today. We um, got a little sunburned. We um, did some yard work today. That is bright. Um, we did some yard work today. Uh, mowed our front yard, which is probably about maybe, uh, I want to say about an acre. So that wore us out. And then we went to a Easter egg hunt with my nephew, who has a son who is a little over a year old, I believe. Um, he's walking, so he's at least a year. And my other nephew, my oldest nephew, his son was there, who was about three, maybe four. And it was my two of my sisters, and then my sis, then my other sister's son's son, who is probably about. He's got to be in at least kindergarten and first grade, I would think, so around that age, so. And then there was a lot of other kids there that I don't even know. So that was that was fun watching them go after Easter eggs. My nephew, my son, my husband, sorry, two of my nephews, my son, my husband hit about 450 of those plastic eggs around their yard. So, and then about, it had to have been about 20 kids that were out looking for them so that was fun to watch but that was a two-hour drive there and then another two-hour drive home I am exhausted but I wanted to go ahead and do a drill with me as you can see like I said I'm still working on my C3PO and R2D2 I've got I'm working on a 310s right now I am doing a color at a time so that's why it is all uncovered but I'm doing the three tens, and there's still got quite a few to do. I did some before I left. I, um, let's see, I'm going in, in color order over here. So I've done one, two, three, four, five colors completely. Hopefully I don't see any stragglers, which knowing me, there probably will be some. And then I'm on 310 right now. So I do want to say, uh, Jerry, if you're watching this before you receive your package, I didn't want to let you know that it is on the way. I mailed it this morning. There is a little something extra included in the box, so hopefully you will like that. And if you need a tracking number, send me a quick email and I'll, and I'll um, take a quick shot picture of it. I just, I haven't had time, honestly. I mean, today has just been nonstop. But if you want that tracking number, I will gladly give it to you. I'm still thinking you'll get it by Monday. So Tuesday at the latest, but I really think Monday. Because if somebody can, in Ohio and Utah can get their package that I sent on a Saturday and they can get it on a Monday, I think the next date over will be just fine. So, whew, yeah. And there is quite a bit of trash in these three tens, I hate to say, because I love home fun, but the trash that is in these is just ridiculous. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to get some more blue tack in here. I did get some of these wax pencils 
and they're okay. I like them, but they're, they're so big. It kind of, to me, just um, gets in the way a little bit. I mean, if I have just a few to put, put down and it's not surrounded by a bunch of other drills, then I think it'd be okay. Like if I was doing like a checkerboard, like right here when I do these sevens, which is almost to the very end, these 3825s, I might use this just so that I can do the checkerboard. Um, otherwise, I'm going to stick to my regular drill pen. And I'm expecting a mermaid pen and a small, um, what does she call them? I don't know. I don't remember what she called them. But I'm expecting two pens from Donnie from her Etsy shop. So I'm hoping that I will get that early next week. So... And I do want to let you all know, I don't know how many of you all play games, um, particularly online games like World of Warcraft or anything like that. But I am going to be starting a new channel just because I had the bright idea that I wanted to record playing World of Warcraft starting from a brand new character. Starting on a brand new character, brand new realm. I don't have any other characters on. I don't know why. It just struck me as something I wanted to do. Right now, I've got the, the name of the channel as Living the Gaming Life. And I've not done anything with it yet. I don't think that there will be quite as many videos as what I've got on here. Just because this is my main my main source of enjoyment, I just figured I'd do something a little different when it's in the evening and I don't want to feel like I'm abandoning my husband. So, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Hopefully I can get the biggest part of the picture in here. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to do something that I can do while in the room with my husband and maybe even when we're playing together I can he's already said that I can record us playing together so I'm going to be recording that tomorrow and if I feel like yeah I think I'll just leave it on its own channel I think that that would be the best. So, but if you're interested in that at all, no, of course you don't have to. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if you're interested in that at all, again, the name of the channel is Living the Gaming Life. It's going to be World of Warcraft, maybe The Sims, if I can get origin to work I might have to just end up removing origin completely and reinstalling because right now it's not working right at all and I moved all my game files over to my externals that way if I do have to reinstall origin instead of having to re-download those games I'll be able to just copy them over from the external <laughs> So, that is what, yeah. So, when I'm not diamond painting or working on my beaded cross stitch, I'll probably be playing World of Warcraft or The Sims. So. But World of Warcraft is a game that I have been playing on and off since it started back in 2004. I remember that because it was a year me and my husband got married. And, um, as I said, I've been playing it on and off. I've got a lot of characters who are level 100. The highest level you can get right now is 120. And we have two characters. We have one character that we're playing together that is 116, I want to say. Uh, so... And then we have two hunters that we are playing together. 
We only play them when we're playing with each other. So, and then I've got a ton of other characters that are at least level 100 that I play whenever I want to play. So, if you do not know what World of Warcraft is, <laughs> um, check out my other channel. I will let you know when I have my first video up starting from the very beginning just in case you all are interested and take a gander it's a very addicting game it does cost money to play every month but I think once you if you can at least play one or two hours maybe three or four times a day not three or four times a day but three or four times a week you're definitely going to get your money's worth. So, it is that good. It is that fun. It's gone through a lot of changes since it first came out. And it's really kept the game fresh, in my opinion. So... Yesterday I did work on my room in here. It is nowhere near where I want it, but I feel like I have a little bit more room. I feel like I have a little bit little bit more organization. It's not done like I said, but right now I've got all my big paintings that I'm currently working on. The one of my husband, the two mystery ones, and then Alice. I have them hanging on the wall. And then I have my, the one for my daughter hanging on the wall as well. Um, so, when I get ready to work on those, all I gotta do is pull them down from the wall. So, that would make that easier instead of trying to... Because I did have them just laying on the table, stacked on top of each other, which wasn't good. I know that. But I didn't know what else I could do at the time. So I did what I had to do or did what I could do. So. But now they're hanging up, so it'll be easy to get to when I'm ready to work on them. So. And as you all know, in one week, a week from tomorrow, which will be Sunday, April the 28th, will be the drawing for the snowman giveaway. Make sure that you comment on that video so that you are entered in for them. And the video for the winner should be up that evening before 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is when Game of Thrones comes on here in Central Time. So I want to get that up before Game of Thrones comes on. So definitely look for that. I can't do it any earlier because we're going to see the Avengers that day and so next weekend is going to be really busy too not just going to see adventures on Sunday but we're also going to go to Conway my son is entering a gaming tournament for for Tekken so I'm going to be driving him to Conway so he can go to that right now my husband will be going with me um, if he finds out that he's not, then I will probably take my beaded cross stitch with me so that I will have something to work on while I am there. Because just sitting there watching people play Tekken all day is not my idea of fun. I'll watch my son play, but that's it. I have no... 
desire to watch a bunch of other people play. Especially since the last time I went, which was in October, there was this one person there that was literally threw a big hissy fit because he was losing. It just, I don't deal with people that do that. I think you're adult enough to enter a con tournament. You should be adult enough to accept it if you lose. So, but unfortunately, people are not like that. Can you hear my hand come across that adhesive? <laughs> I'm trying to not touch the canvas, but sometimes it's hard. I almost lost all my drills there for a second. Let's see if this helps them. I think I've got all the three tens that are down there anyway, so. Every time I get on here and I start doing a video, I always get the sniffles. Maybe I'm allergic to making videos. You think that's possible? <laughs> no, probably not. So. All right, let's talk podcasts. I know I've brought them up a few times and I wanted to go ahead and see what you all listen to and give you a few that I listen to. I Like I said before, I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts. My favorite one is Case File. It is one that I've been listening to almost since it started. Like I said, I was on the road a lot and I got caught up on that show quickly and then I haven't missed an episode since. This week, I, have, I haven't listened to it yet, but the final, the conclusion of the five-part series on the Belangelo Forest in South Wales is done i listened to part of it this morning but i didn't get very far through it because i had to go so but yeah i'll either listen to that on the way to work on monday or if i am done with this drill with me and i'm still one into diamond paint I'll probably listen to it then too so but they have most of their a lot of their cases are cases that are done in Australia but not all of them a lot of them are here in the United States they do some from United Kingdom but they're always interesting they, he did a three-part one on, I, if I said this before, I'm sorry for repeating myself, but he did a three-part series on Jamestown. If you don't know what Jamestown is, it is a, they were a cult back in the 70s, I believe it was the 70s, um, down in... Cuba, I think. I think. Don't hold me to that. And when they were getting closed in on, as a lot of cults do, you all heard the, heard the sayings, don't drink the Kool-Aid, right? Well, that comes from Jamestown because Jim Jones talked, really, Susan? He talked about 95% of his people that follow him into drinking cyanide-laced Kool-Aid. This includes children whose parents gave it to them and if they couldn't drink it, they were injected with it. We're talking 
thousands of people. The pictures that you can see online of this, if you look it up, is horrific. Because all you see is just row a row of people who killed themselves for this man. And then he decided that instead of going through the pain of dying from cyanide poisoning, he was just going to shoot himself, which is bad. Don't get me wrong. But thinking about how he had everybody else go. I mean, think about it. It's a painful way to die. And the author of the podcast did a really good job at painting that picture. And don't get me wrong, I'm not into like hearing about how people die or something like that or how painful they went through. I just think that he did a really good job at telling that story. It was in a three parts. Most of his are two parts, but occasionally he does do multiple parts. And the one on James Town was in three parts. So I listened to that one <sighs> a couple of times because there's so much in there that you miss a lot if you're not paying attention. And the naivety of these people who followed this man was just insane. But anyway, yeah, so that's case file. Um, he has a weekly schedule of his new releases get released on Saturday. He does a three week one three week on one week off where he'll release a new episode for three weeks and then he'll take a week off. This last one that he's doing, the Belangolo one, he actually it was in five parts and he actually sent each an episode out each week instead of taking a break, which means he'll probably take a couple weeks off, maybe, after today. So. Okay, another one that I like to listen to is Female Criminals. It is from podcast they have a bunch of different podcasts that they do each one is in two parts each each episode you get each topic you get two parts to it you get one part where they talk about the person's past how they came to do what they did and what led them to, to committing murder or anything else that they were charged of. The second part they usually go into like the aftermath, like the trial, uh, what happened, and all that. Now, I am caught up on that show. Last week, they did part two of Leona Helmsley, who was known as the Queen of Mean. And that was interesting because while I had always heard her name, I did not know her story. So, listening to that really gave me an insight as to who the person is. And she wasn't really a nice, a very nice person. I mean, when she died, she left a $12 million trust fund to her dog. To her dog. Okay. I love my dog. And I love pets. But I'm not going to give a $12 million trust fund to her. And then rely on somebody else to take care of her. That's just not going to happen. This paper is driving me crazy. That's not going to work out. <clears throat> So, um, but I, I had skipped a few episodes cause I, I missed a few and it always starts with like the latest one, unless you tell it to go back. So 
I had listened to Leona Helmsley before I caught up on the other two cases that they did. One case was on Tokyo Rose. And then another case was on a lady from Alaska who pretty much played about three guys off of each other. She was literally engaged to two guys at the same time and then got involved with the third guy. And then the first guy that she was involved with or she was engaged to ended up getting killed and she was tried for it. She was convicted for it. And then later on, it was overturned because a letter that he had written to his parents pretty much saying that if anything happened to me, look to her, it was deemed inadmissible in court. So she went, she had a, she had her original verdict overturned and she was supposed to go back on trial, but then the son of the third man that she was involved with, who had originally said that he had watched, that he had found a gun similar to what was used on the victim, he had found in his dad's possession and that his dad and this woman went ballistic and then started washing the gun Anyway, he recanted that. So they basically said that they had no evidence on this woman. And she was <clears throat> set free. Yeah. And this was after she had been living the had last 10 or 15 years. Living it up as a housewife in Washington. Before her past came back to haunt her. So. But that's the one that I was listening to. That's the last one that I was listening to. That got caught up on that one. Now. <clears throat> podcast. Like I said. They have a lot of different. Podcasts that they do. They do another one. Um, called Serial Killers. Which is. Similar format to female criminals and then they have one called crimes of passion which again is similar it goes into stories of couples who end up you know um you know what a crime of passion is you know it just that sort of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to think it in my head what I'm trying to say and it's just not coming out right. So. They have a few more other shows that are out that I'm just, eh, you know, I might check it out. But it doesn't seem like anything I'd be really too interested in. So. Let's see. <laughs> um, Serial. I know that if you know anything about podcasts, you've heard of Serial. It's S-E-R-I-A-L, not C-E-R-E-A-L. Um, <clears throat> they were the first ones to really do a story of Adnan Said. Said um, and that story. That was their first season. Their second season was about a military guy who left his post and got in trouble uh, I don't remember what the name was um, Bo something I'm sorry but that was the second season and I kept anxiously waiting for the third season to come out and then when it finally came out I don't know it just it didn't grab my attention like the first two seasons did so, I didn't really listen to the third season. 
so. But the first two seasons, that's pretty good. Uh, another show called Breakdown. They did a series on a child hot car death. And it was about a man who <clears throat> had forgot that his child was in his car when he went to work and the child got left in the car all day in a hot car and died. And then they was investigating him, kind of find out that he was on all kinds of sites about living a child-free life and he had all these other girlfriends that he was talking to and having cyber sex and all that kind of stuff. I don't remember if he was ever found guilty or not. The, the trial was went through a bunch of different <clears throat> headaches before it finally went to trial. So I don't even know how it ended. I need to catch up on that one and see if they did an update episode. Um, let's see. Another one that I listen to occasionally is, oh, not occasionally, um, All, All, All Crime No Cattle. I think that's right. That is a husband and wife team. <clears throat> they take turns each week, unless it is a two-parter. They take turns each one telling a story about a crime that takes place in Texas. They've done some interesting ones. Some that I've never even heard of. See, those are the stories I like. I like hearing about the ones that I've never heard of. I don't have preconceived notions about it. I just listen to it and it's like, hmm, okay. So, the ones I like are the ones that I don't know anything about. So, that one is good. Um, another one with the husband and wife. Well, I don't actually know if they're married yet or not. Um, but another one where they are married is True Crime Couple. And that one is mostly the wife telling the story. These are all a lot of conversational. Where they pretty much just talk to each other until... And talk about it. Now the ones on ParCast. Excuse me. <coughs> the ones on ParCast. Those are scripted. And you can tell it's scripted just by listening to them. But I don't think it really detracts from the story itself. I mean the ads are kind of annoying. Um, because you know they do their own ads and everything. And to me it's kind of like blah 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 blah. But the stories themselves I don't think is taken away from it being scripted. Those shows have two hosts and they pretty much just go back and forth on it. Now the one thing that really drives me nuts is that on every single episode there is one person on there who takes over for the psychology psychology of the show. And they always say, such and such is not a licensed psychologist or psychiatrist, but she has done a lot of research for the show. Which I'm not discounting. I mean, she very well could have. I'm not saying she didn't. It's just every episode, when you hear that every single time, it's like, oh my God, we already know this. <laughs> so... But I still like to listen to those shows. So, uh, let's see. What's another one I like? Um, Morbid. Actually, Wendy over at um, Gone Off My Meds tuned me into that one. However, unintentionally. She was just talking about how she was listening to it as she was packing to move. And I... 
tried out an episode and found that I liked it. So, yeah, that one is uh, two ladies who I think one of them is actually a forensic, uh, yeah, um, forensic autopsy person, something like that. She deals with dead people in some way or another. So. Um, so she's always got an interesting take on it. And I think that they switch off every week on the episodes that they do as well. So. What is another one I like? One that I used to listen to a lot was, I'm still subscribed to it. I just haven't had a chance to really listen to any of them. Is True Crime All the Time and True Crime All the Time Unsolved. Same people, just one one show is about crimes that are solved, and one crime is about show the crimes that are unsolved. And I think even the ones that are unsolved are just as interesting as the ones that have been solved. So they recently did a I want to say four part episode, four part yeah four part episode of the West Memphis Three. Which I hope you all have heard about that. If you haven't, look it up. It's very interesting. There was a few documentaries done from HBO on that. It happened back in 93 when I was pregnant with my son. And I think it really hit me hard. Um, about those three boys that died. And the three boys who were convicted, who I honestly don't think they did it. Maybe it's just me. I did it first. I honestly did. But just watching the documentaries that were done on this case, it really got me to thinking that now I'm thinking it was the stepfather of one of the boys so if you've ever watched cold case when it was on a few years back they did an episode you know all those episodes that are on that show are loosely based off of true stories from what i can tell and they did an episode that was very reminiscent of the West Memphis Three. Even down to the type of main character who was convicted. He looked, and from what I could tell, acted very much like Damien did. Or the one that got convicted. And they were released. And of course, the cold case team found out that it had been done by one of the boys' stepfathers. So, that's a really interesting twist. So, but yeah. Those three boys that were convicted are now free. Because they did the Alfred plea. Which, in layman terms is, correct me if I'm wrong, but in layman terms is pretty much saying... You're, you're pleading guilty because there is enough reasonable doubt to say you're guilty, but you're still, I don't know, it's, I'm completely saying it wrong, so um, I should have looked it up, but I didn't even know I was going to bring this up. So, yeah, I'll try to look that up, get a little, get it right. Before I on my next podcast, so that I can tell you exactly what it is. I didn't understand it when I heard about it, so it's probably why I can't give you a correct answer now. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, another type of podcast I like is the dramatizations. Podcast. I believe I mentioned last time about Welcome to Night Vale. 
That is still one of my favorites, although I am so far behind. I probably, like I said before, I probably need to re-listen to all the episodes. But if I'm not mistaken, I have... The creator of that podcast actually released all the episodes in a book format. Because the book... The show is mostly narrated by one person. They have like guest stars and everything that come out. But it's it's mostly narrated by one person. So if you're going to read a book of all the episodes, I don't think that one would be too bad. So if I can catch up on a show by reading those books, I can start where the books ended and get really caught up. So... That's what I need to do one of these days. Let's get caught up on that show. Because I love it. It's so crazy. I mean, when you're talking about five-headed dragons. And, um, and angels that don't exist and everything. It's, it's just a crazy show. And I like the fact that they have a lot of guest stars. who Famous guest stars. Like, if I'm not mistaken... Um, Felicia Day has been a guest star on this. I could be wrong. I Will Wheaton for sure has been a guest star on this show. And they've actually taken the show out on tour where you'll get a completely new episode that you can't see, that you can't hear on the podcast. So, I think that would be really, really cool to do. Or to go see. I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm putting down. I really want to get a a clamp that goes to the top of my table here. That I can put the camera straight down on here instead of to the side. But I just need to find one. If y'all know where I can get one of those, please let me know. I need to do something that will make it easier for you all to see what I'm doing. I feel like I'm really just sitting here just talking and not really doing anything. Because you can't see me do anything. Because it's all... I'm just all in the way. So... Another drama is drama show that I like to listen to is The Black Tapes. If you have not heard this show, I highly, highly recommend it. It is done so well that I literally looked up the names that are in this show just to make sure it wasn't real. <laughs> the characters it is about a reporter who finds these tapes and it's got all this paranormal stuff in it and it is literally it it really did I literally had to stop and look on my phone to see if these things actually existed it was done that well or maybe I'm just that naive. <laughs> that could be it. So. That one. I'm still waiting for the next season to come out on that one. It's been a while. It seems like it's been forever. Since the last season. So. It's super super good. And super fun to listen to. So, if you are looking for a good drama to listen to, check out The Black Tapes. If you're looking for a drama slash comedy to listen to, check out Welcome to Night Vale. And if you're looking for some good true crime podcast to listen to, Check out any of the ones that I've mentioned. I know there's a lot more out there. I'm even subscribed to a lot more than that. But that is some of the ones that I like to listen to. 
Another one, another type of podcast I like to listen to is Scary Story Cry Podcast. These are, sorry about that. These are usually known as creepypasta stories. Um, most, one that I like to listen to is, that's really popular, is the No Sleep Podcast. They are stories that people write on the No Sleep Reddit page. And then this team of narrators, they will pick some of the best stories and they will read them out loud on a podcast. And there have been some really... Excuse my language, but there have been some really fucked up stories on that on that channel and that show. I mean, really screwed up. I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> all interesting, just all kinds of screwed up. Now they have a lot of episodes. I mean, if you were to start from the beginning of that show and try to catch up it will probably literally take you a year i mean they're on season i want to say season 11 each episode each season has 18 to 25 episodes episodes being about an hour long telling about three or four stories um if you pay premium you get more stories than that, but they just started doing that like, I don't know, a few years ago. So, but yeah, some of those stories are just messed up. <laughs> some of them are, a lot of them are really good. So, I'm going to have to get some more drills. You can really start to see him come on, come along. This light doesn't help any. Let me move it a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. When I get done, I'll turn. Ah, too bright. I'll turn off that light and um, and show you what we've done so far. So, um, let's see. What other kind of podcast have I listened to? My daughter, she has tried to get me to listen to these people read out loud Harry Potter fan fiction. Now, I have listened to a couple of these episodes. And... I am sorry, but the people who write these stories, they have seriously got to be like 12 or 13 years old. Now, don't get me wrong. I was writing stories at 12, and they sucked. They really did. I will be honest with you. They were no good. So, I'm not passing judgment on anybody, especially for doing something that they enjoy, but... It just the language that is in these these fan fiction stories are just they're, they're just great, I guess. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a good way. I think I'm gonna shut up before I offend people. <laughs> that that is not my intention. So So I listened to a couple of those episodes and I was like, okay, that's enough. I'm going to go back to my true crime. <laughs> Another show that I've listened to a lot of is Sword and Scale. Um, they really delve into some 
pretty radical topics that I've not heard anywhere else. Like they have played a recording of an actual man who has been stabbed repeatedly and then filmed. <laughs> they played that audio of this man dying. I'm like, seriously? That's nuts. Okay, I am so tired of three tens right now. <laughs> but I think I'm almost done. That's what I like about these smaller pictures. Like according to the pattern, there was 728 three tens on this picture. And they weren't all even in the same spot like the 3865s were. Try not to put my hand on the painting and it doesn't always work. Okay. I want to say I'm almost done. I want to say I'm done. Let's see. I think that's it for the three tens. Sorry guys for the silence, just trying to make sure that I'm not missing any. I'm going to call that good. Woohoo! Okay. Now, I'm not working late this week that I know of. So I'm hoping that I will be able to do a lot more diamond painting than I was last week. Maybe even start on my beaded cross stitch. Okay. Next color is 371. There's not as many. That's all that I have. So about one package worth. Um, so let's see if we can knock this color out. Pretty quick. This looks like this would be a lot in should be a lot in R2D or C3PO, but we'll see. Okay. I think I'm done talking about podcasts. So, let's see, what else can we talk about that is true crime related? Hmm. Does anybody watch the investigative, investigation discovery channel? My mom, before she passed away, she was addicted to that channel. She would literally watch it from the time she gets up the time she went to bed um, she didn't care what show it was she would watch it and 
I think one of her favorite shows was the one with um, John Kenta, Joe Kenta. I really think she liked that show. I think she found him handsome or something. Because that show was based off of stories that he participated in. I got extra drills laying on my canvas so it's not supposed to be there. Nope, that one was supposed to be there. It just wanted to move. So. And one of my favorite shows that is on that channel is Deadly Women. I don't know what it is with me and watching and listening to things about women who are criminals. I don't know. It's kind of a theme with me, isn't it? So. Yeah. <laughs> but, um. Yeah. That show's a good show. I think, I think so. It's still going on. I think you can actually catch episodes of that on Netflix, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I am, because I definitely don't want to give out false information. Okay, I know I have more H's than that. So where are they all hiding at? Another show that I like on that channel is Web of Lies. That is based on mostly stories or crime stories that originated um, online. Where people would meet online and then something happens and yeah. So All these people meet bad people online. I think I was just lucky because I met my husband online and he hasn't turned out to be some psycho murderer. I hope not. He hasn't killed me yet. Oh, <laughs> there is a funny story that when we first started dating, we had gone to a movie after he had gotten off work and we had just met at the movies. So we both had our own car and decided to come back to his place after the movie, because I didn't have the kids at the time. So I was going down the road that I knew. I didn't know any back ways or anything like that to his house. All I knew was that I would go straight down the expressway, turn down another road, and go through the little town that he lives in. Easy peasy, right? Well, I passed an exit, and I guess he thought that I should have turned down that exit. So, I don't know why he was following me when it was, we were going to his house. I should have been following him the entire time. But, <laughs> I was he was following me. And then when I missed that exit, or that stoplight, he passed me and got in front of me. So, I'm like, all right. So, I started to follow him. And I was following him and following him. And then he turned down a road I've never been down before. Excuse me. Hope I don't shake you all. It was, a, it was at night. It was like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. The road was completely deserted. It wasn't a dirt road or anything. It was a regular paved road. It was completely deserted, not a single car in sight. And I followed him down this road all the while thinking <laughs> that he was going to lead me somewhere and kill me. He was going to take me somewhere and leave me for dead. <laughs> and then when I told him that afterwards, he just laughed. So. He's had quite a few laughs at my expense. 
not mean or anything like that, but yeah. So, yeah, I don't understand how people, I mean, I guess I can, I guess I was just lucky, like I said, my husband didn't turn out to be some psycho, jacked up killer dude, so I was lucky, but a lot of people aren't, and you gotta take that, okay, for some reason, it's not very sticky over here. Over here on this part of my canvas. And I don't know why. It's like I try to stick the drill to it. And it just wants to slide around. It worries me that this whole section right here is literally not very sticky at all. See? You hear that, right? I don't know. I can literally just run my finger over it. That is going to worry me. I'm afraid that I'm going to have to put like individual beads down with glue. I'll get on Facebook and see if there's anything that I can do. I'll ask in one of the groups I'm in. See, it just, it's not wanting to stick at all. Well, it does not want to get off the pan. Which one is in? Oh, that's my next color is 402. Let's just try something. I think this is one that I'm definitely going to have to seal after I'm done with it. Because I have a feeling that if I don't, I'm going to lose diamonds. See, some of them are sticking okay. Some of them I'm wanting to stay on my pen. So, this, like I said, this is one that I'm definitely going to have to seal. Which I think I was going to anyway, but this just kind of reiterates that. It's like, nope, Susan, that's something you're going to have to do. No talking yourself out of it. So. Okay. Some of them, even though, let's try down here. See, it seems to be sticking okay. You can hear the clicking. And some of them don't, so it's like it's a hit and miss thing. And it's not like I stuck anything on the canvas that would make it do that. I didn't have any problems with my other canvas from them. But I really hope that the other ones are not going to be like this. Because I've got far too many paintings from this company that have them all be like this. So, Alright, I'll do the color later. It needs to be kind of a hit and miss situation, so we'll see. Some of them are sticking really good. Some of them try to stick back to the pen, not let go. So. 
Oh, I forgot what I was talking about. Okay. Anyway. I might have to end this one anyway. I am so tired. It has been a very long day. Um, bum, 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 bum. I really have no idea where all my H's are on this. I know they give you a... a a diamond count as to how many will be on the painting. Maybe it's because I ran my, my pan got stuck so much it just kind of taken all the I hope not. Um I was kind of wondering sometimes if the number that they put in here <laughs> the piece number is actually the number of jewels that you're gonna put on this painting for each color. Because I had one on here that was like 88 and it didn't really seem like I put down 88 of that color. So, not that I'm going to count when I do it because seriously, who's going to do that? Not me. If you want to do that, more power to you. But it ain't going to be me. <laughs> so, let's see if I can finish off this color. And then maybe I'll do this off camera and see how much, how bad that's going to try to not stick. I just have a feeling I need, some, I need to concentrate on it. And I can't concentrate if I'm trying to talk. Because then I'll start saying um a lot. And I think I've done pretty good in this episode not saying that too much. So... I hope everybody has a happy evening. You may not get this until Sunday, so if you do, happy Easter. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. Keep a lookout for maybe, hopefully, another couple of drill with me. And then we'll got my whip wednesday which right now what you're watching me do right now is all i'm gonna have on that episode <laughs> unless i work on something else see this one st didn't even stick to the canvas so i'm going to try to work on my husband's picture, get some more of that one color blocking done. That way I don't do another drill with me and only do that one color. Which if you're watching the drill with me, I'm sorry that you only saw me do that one color. Hopefully you were working on one of your pictures. And just had me going in the background, which is just fine. I like... I actually, for some reason, I've actually gotten to where on the drive into work, I will put on a video and just listen to it. I don't sit there and watch it, of course, because I'm driving, but I'll just sit and listen to it because it's kind of relaxing just, just listening to you all talk. I've listened to Diamond Painting with Eskies. I've listened to Wendy or gone off my meds so but yeah that's been kind of kind of a different thing to do first thing in the morning kind of helped wake me up get me going But anyway, to recap, Jerry, if you're watching this, your package has been mailed. Hopefully you will receive it Monday. Please let me know when you do. Send me a quick email. And please... 
I talked about some podcasts I like to listen to. I don't know Jill on that one. So if you all do listen to podcasts and you have one that I have not mentioned that you think is really good, let me know. I will definitely check it out because I am definitely open to more than just what I normally listen to. So, let me know. And I am going to go ahead and... Oh God, I hate my hand just going across my, on my arm. I don't want to turn the painting because I like doing it right side up. I don't want to have to block off sections because I want to try to do this with all just, wait a second, one color of it. Oh, no. oh, that's good. So, tomorrow is episode two of Game of Thrones. And last week when we watched episode one, it went by so fast that when they ran the credits, I looked at my husband and I'm like, really? It's already been an hour? It was literally that fast. So. I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay. Am I in a shot? I'm sorry if I'm covering up. This is trying to get up to these higher ones here. Stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I might just do these. Okay, N, which is the color here, which is kind of this orange color, is a lot right here and here and here. So a lot of these sticky areas that I keep running across might get cleared up quite a bit just by doing that one color. So we'll see. Let me sing my Star Wars song again. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, oh. As far as, sorry. As far as which picture I will do next after this one, I have had the following one suggested. I have had Princess Leia suggested. I have had... Ray suggested, and I have had Darth Vader suggested. I have also had it suggested to do a Japanese girl one, and then go do a Star Wars, and do a Japanese one, and then do a Star Wars. Kind of go back and forth, that way I don't get burned out on him. I actually kind of like that idea. I think that that would be smart. so that I don't get burned out on doing the same type all the time. So, if you voted, if you wanted me to do a Star Wars one, please don't be mad at me, but I'm going to go ahead and do a Japanese girl one next. And I will probably do the yellow one. Let me see if I can get a hold of the picture. Right. 
this is the one I'll do next. So, please don't be mad at me for deciding to do that one. Um, I like the idea of just going back and forth. That way I'm not getting, like I said, I'm not getting tired of doing the same kind over and over again. So, my chair is caught on something back here. Okay. I think I'm done with the H's. Then I can get started on the ends. Okay. I'm going to call the H's good. I'm sure I'll find one after I put all my drills away that I missed, as usual. That's what I do. Yes, it is. That is what I do. Yep, see? I almost missed those two right there on the bottom. call it good and I will talk to you all later I'll try to film something tomorrow hopefully on a different painting if not I will probably just do my husband and get um, some of that color blocking done and out of the way All right, I am going to do these ends and see if they will stick to the canvas or if I'm going to have to do something different. So, uh, let me turn this light off. Let me turn this, move this light so you can see what we've done. We finished off the black over here and then did some of the lighter, another gray color around here. I'm going to do these ends that'll be right here. There's some all the way around. And then we'll see where I'm at and if I feel like doing any more. So, all right. Well, thank you all for joining me. And you all have a great evening. Have a great Easter. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.